My name is Samarth Patwardhan and I currently serve as a professor of petroleum engineering in the Department of Petroleum Engineering. Also, I serve as a head for Center for Subsea Engineering Research at MIT WPU. Being the second oldest department in the country and being the second oldest student chapter holder in the country, we follow Society of Petroleum Engineering guidelines quite rigorously in order to design our courses and also for our R&D. So when it comes to R&D section or R&D themes in petroleum engineering, we broadly follow what SP suggests. So there are five grand challenges. This happens every decade. So the current grand challenges which they talk about are five of them. The first one is improved recovery from tight and shale reservoirs. Now these are reservoirs which are extremely tight with nano Darcy permeability. And in order to produce oil and gas from such reservoirs, stimulation is necessary. Now, US has led efforts in producing oil and gas from such reservoirs, but the recovery is still close to less than 10% because the wells decline at a very fast rate. So, a lot of work needs to be done in order to enhance the recovery from such tight and shared reservoirs. And stimulation is one of the areas which is seeing a lot of R&D happening for energy security from such reservoirs. The scale of opportunities which are available for reduction of upstream oil and gas uh, carbon emissions is significant. The detection, minimization, continuous monitoring of such emissions of carbon dioxide, methane and other gases is much needed. And of course there are low carbon solutions which are available in the current industry or current market but which need an immense need of uh, scaling up so that it can be used for optimizing processes and moving towards net zero. Carbon capture and utilization and storage, which is CCUS, is also an area of focus for R&D from a petroleum engineering perspective. CCUS needs to happen where the capture of carbon dioxide followed by transport and permanent utilization of storage at scale needs to be done and R&D needs to be done at multiple levels. There are a few projects which are successful across the world, but supply chain for this capture transport and taking it all the way to the point of injection by utilizing oil and gas wells is something which needs to be done for where uh, new business models and new policies need to be drafted so that it becomes cost effective and efficient for all the stakeholders in the market. In the year 2022, the utilization of geothermal energy for electricity production was 6% in California and 9.4% in Nevada in the, state, in the country of US. Such ONG oil and gas infrastructure should be repurposed for geothermal power production across the world so that it becomes more cost effective for everybody. Subsurface heat maps and matrix characterization or reservoir characterization needs to be done in order to assess the potential of such geothermal reservoirs across the world. And I'm proud to say that I have faculty members who are my colleagues at the Department of Petroleum Engineering who are working on both the geothermal as well as the hydrogen space when it comes to R&D projects. Of course, with the advent of artificial intelligence across industries, we can't ignore it in the oil and gas industry. Our industry has maybe been a little slow in adopting the AI uh, wave, but we are sitting on petabytes or rather exabytes of data which can be used for optimizing processes using these AI tools which are available. So right, it, right from uh, decline curve analysis all the way to well test interpretation, reservoir characterization, water flooding or other UR operations, AI tools are being uh, made, they are being utilized and there are a lot of R&D projects going on across the world where AI can be utilized for making such processes better and extracting that last drop of oil from the reservoirs. And we at Department of Petroleum Engineering are also working on such projects where we have doctorate students working with industry on data where we can help them recover more oil with higher efficiencies.